This from the front page of Sport, reporting what would be a massive swap deal. Miralem Pjanic, Mattia De Siglio, plus 25 million euros going to Barcelona. Nelson Semedo then would be making his way to Turin. This is in Spain being reported as almost a done deal, but uh, Gab, sounds like there's some pretty serious pushback in Italy. Yeah, look, I, I, this actually all stems from, it stems the other way. It stems from the fact that uh, Maurizio Sarri really likes our tour at, at Barcelona. And uh, if you remember, the original version of the story, which has been rumbling on and on and on, was the Artur for Pjanic swap, um, the difficulty there. And this is the problem with swaps, you know, we, you kind of have to come up with each, these Tetris-like uh, arrangements uh, to, to go and make them work, um, is that, you know, the, the, the numbers simply don't line up in terms of contracts. Now, Pjanic, um, I think it's an open secret, uh, he would jump at the chance to go to Barcelona, equally Juventus want to want to rebuild um, their midfield. But you have to find guys willing to go the other way. A guy like De Chilio is always very, very convenient. That's why he gets linked to every single uh, swap deal. I mean, Jules will remember he was linked to, uh, uh, to, 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 to PSG recently as well. I forget if it was for, uh, for, for Kurzawa or who it was. Um, these are all just accounting games. There'll be one guy that people want and then other people that they need to throw in uh, to, make, to make the swap work because uh, I don't think there's much liquidity here at all. Pjanic would like to go. I think the um, I think Setien would like Pjanic, but equally he's not technically he's certainly not a, a priority for Barcelona. And I think any kind of swap like this is one of those you know book balancing uh, uh, swaps where you know it all becomes about uh, amortization and not much else. So I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, certainly not on those terms. Jules, we've talked about Pjanic to Barcelona on this show. You've not been a big fan of it. What do you think of this swap deal? I mean, again, I agree with everything Gab just said. It doesn't make any sense for me. Although, on paper, if you look at it, if, if, if Barca get rid of Nelson Semedo, who, let's be honest, has potential but hasn't really worked out at Barcelona since he arrived. But again, Pjanic and 25 million and De Chiglio. Not that I'm a big fan of De Chiglio either or that I rate him, but it's still, that would be a very good deal for Barcelona. However, I just, I just, I just think they already have so many midfielders and if you think about how much money Nelson Semedo is on right now so they get rid of that wage wages from their books but then Pjanic is easily twice as expensive in terms of wages than Semedo is and De Chiglio on top of that as well what you wanted to do which was reduce your wage bill is actually the other way around now because your wage bill is even bigger if Pjanic and De Chiglio arrives against Semedo than it was before Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.